Hello everyone! Welcome to round one. Uh, Begin. Well, I guess at some point. We may have jumped the gun on this. Our opponent hasn't quite decided to do anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, this hand is expensive. It's good on a mulligan. His mulligan. Yeah, I think it's fine because he mulligan. Um, we're on the draw. We get a duress turn one. We don't have to fetch to do the duress either, so we can try to hold back on the fetch land for a little bit. And there's a hollowed fountain, right? Yeah, there's a hollowed fountain. So, so that can fetch green fetch mana. Lanowar elves. Oh. Blue is better than green. I don't know. For duress purposes. Yeah, for duress purposes, sure. Means that duress will actually probably hit something. Especially if our opponent's pondering. So, swamp duress. Also, draw land so I don't have to feel worried about my lands. I'm not worried. I know you're not, but I was, but now I'm not, so problem solved. Easy oh, game. Easy game. Swamp duress. Lol. <laughs> nice hand, bro. Okay. Uh, let me take a copy of it so that way I have it for when I need it later. If I need it later. There we go. So four lands and a grizzly bear. Got it. it was, well, it was grizzly bear and three lands. We know two. He had two. He has two more lands at the bare minimum, and no more grizzly bear. Okay. Because his grizzly bear's out on the field. Uh, so just play that. I can do marsh flats for the hollowed fountain next turn, and then Gideon. Just start doing Gideon. Giddy up stuff. Gideon's not really that good. That thing's gonna get flying eventually. He does not pump it. So he has something else to do with his turn. Ooh, he draw, drew bigger grizzly bear. Hmm. Alright, Jace is not bad. I guess I just play Jace. I guess I do fetch into Jace. Or I save the fetch for later. It's weird. Yeah, just island's fine. Yeah, island Jace, I guess. Wake Thrasher, huh? That thing is gonna hit hard. Yeah, that was a pretty good draw for him. Yeah. Um, I guess Gideon at least chumps it, so... He just yeah, Gideon chumps it for a turn, we'll draw a land and treachery up. Probably commander. Yeah, treachering the commander would make sense because that'd be the flying power that's a problem, so... Okay. Alright, jigs up. Jigs up, he knows what we're doing. End of the, end of the line. Gonna have to shoot him yeah. in the face. <laughs> that's the truth. He's seen too much. He has to go. <laughs> yeah. Treachery into Batter Skull is very strong, though. Yeah, it is. I think it should be good enough. And between drawing a card with Jace and the Marsh Flats, we should be... Or, well, yeah, between two regular draws and draws with Jace, we should be able to hit the Treachery on time. Yeah. Also, randomly does turn Thassa online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just going to help us out here. Actually, no, this is going to be bad. Well, kind of bad. He just doesn't give all of them flying. Oh my God. Yeah, it's only 10 damage. Youch. I guess I played this then, actually. Yeah. So Gideon's on chump mode, Jace might be on chump mode too. Yeah, Jace has the potential to be on chump mode if needed. Cause that is a big ass wake thrasher. <laughs> I imagine this just goes straight for Gideon. This eats this. And then we have to play treachery on this. Or on this maybe. Probably on this, though, because it's flying, and then play Banner yeah. Skull. 
Because what happens is Batter Skull blocks, gains us life, then Batter Skull equips to, so to something and just does stupid shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that doesn't advance his board state, so I'm good with that. Yeah, that's actually not scary. And we have the spell pierce. He might have uh, force spike, I guess. Yeah, I suppose force spike would be kind of like making us SOL, but but can't really play around everything. Right. All right, loot gets rid of what? Probably just this temple we drew. Temple, yep. Yeah. Oh. I'm no. I'm still doing this because it lets Jace flip. Okay. There is a reasoning behind my madness. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's a method to my madness here. So, get that. But the uh, Jace flipping isn't really doing anything, is it? Well, Jace gets to block and then flip. Yeah. Yeah, definitely we don't flip it now. Yeah. I mean, flipping it right now does nothing. But blocking and then flipping is quite good. Cause All right. Well, that was absurd. Yeah, I think that just basically had us come back, possibly. Okay. Floats a blue. Oh, God. For it. Sure. Sure. Your Wake Thrasher is minusculely larger. <laughs> Which I don't think is how you should actually state that. That's kind of like a contradicting set of terms. But... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Randomly, best draw is Thasano, I guess. I guess. Impulse, okay. So what's he splashing black for? Because he's discarded two swamps and he already has this. So it must just be a single black color source. Yeah. Because otherwise he'd keep swamps. And we know he doesn't have Thassa, so... We don't have to worry about that being something retarded. Blue black planeswalker. It's only Tezzeret, I think. Ashiok, maybe. Ashiok, yeah. If, assume I assume Ashiok's in this cube, and Ashiok is OP as fuck. But <laughs> me. Hmm. I think I will block. <laughs> Instead of you know dying mm, ditch that okay sweet so we have flashback dress yeah I think we should probably do that it's pretty dumb Best to see what the heck we're working against here. Negate, Negate. Snapcaster, Icefall Regent. So, Snapcaster and Icefall Regent. Okay. Interesting. So, I've got to be careful about the Snapcaster counterspell then. Um, I think I just get in with this. But... But I don't yeah, because any Icefall Regent's the other one of them. Right, so... Yeah, because Icefall Regent freezes this down, actually. Yeah. Or freezes this down. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> and if he tries to Snapcast or something, I can... Um, what would he... Snapcaster Impulse? Pulse. Yeah, I guess I'll just counter the Impulse because... Yeah. Might as well. Say no. <laughs> You're not the only one who gets to say no. <laughs> <laughs> this might be our only card that actually allows us to say no, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> This is interesting. 
I'm we guessing could. he's going to Icefall region this, and then we'll have to chump this. Uh, we could take eight. I mean, we could. I mean, he'd swing for... I mean, if we'd take eight, we'd gain four. because Well, no, he wouldn't swing with that. Probably not. It would be something like... Karn comes down next. So he swings with both, imagine. If he does, though, and doesn't grab the... He has to freeze this. Like, he has to. The fuck? <laughs> I guess that's so that way his Icefall region can kind of keep doing shit. So we go to one? Yeah, I think... I think that's fine. fine. How's this worded? It spells. It spells, okay. Uh, well, we're not dead. We're not dead. I guess I shrink this. Yeah. And then I just play Titan. <laughs> Titan's actually very strong here. Yeah. Titan's great. I wonder if he'll double block. I doubt it, but it'd be great value for us. No? All right. I mean, Titan blocks forever, so. Yep. Yay, it's nice to have absurdly broken cards. <laughs> as long as they're not, like, the only cards in Standard, which Titans kind of were. <laughs> Delphi Strikes, okay. Titans were kind of like the only card during their Standard. And then now we had Smuggler's Copter and Emrakul, which I'm very glad they banned, even though I was playing Blue-White Flash. I hated it. Yeah, Emrakul is just too dumb. I hated playing... Blue white flash. Even though I was playing it, that was the thing. It was it was interesting because it's one of those cases where you're like, I I loathe having to do this, but I have to do this <laughs> otherwise I cannot be competitive. Yeah. Because there was no deck that did not have either of those two cards that was competitive. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, block. <laughs> hmm. Shrug. Thing in the ice. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Geist is draft. Interesting. Well, I guess I f shrink that again. That way he has to attack Jace with his flyer in order to actually do anything. Yeah. And I will swing with all of these. I guess that just gets blocked by thing in the ice, so there's no point. Um. So what are those blocks? He's gonna put Strix on Titan if you do this, right? But it'll make three more chump blockers for this. Actually, he's only gonna t he's gonna tap six per six permanents. So that'd be seven. <sighs> I think it's still fine. Sure. I mean, we do lose the Titan, which is unfortunate, but I think we've made enough headway with this Batter Skull that we're in good shape. And I get to play Geist St. Draft, which then could represent lethal if he swings with his flyer. Yeah. So. And if he doesn't, then... He still has to attack Jace, probably. Well, yeah, if he doesn't, then Jace is still alive. At which point, Jace still gets to do all of his manipulate the board stuff. Which is amazing, because Jace is actually just great. <laughs> <laughs> Se I think, I, I definitely give him this the second base best to Jace in existence award. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat the other one, but this is definitely sec second best Jace in existence. Considering that there are a lot of Jaces, this actually doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has another flyer. Well, now this isn't threatening lethal. It's Unless funny. we draw Karn, at which point then fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, like, draw land to get Karn is what I meant, but, you know. Yeah. It's gonna come soon. It has to. 
Okay. Alright. I guess I do have to block that then. Boop. Oh. Doom Blades. Well, that just good. kills his flyer and then he just dies, right? Yeah, he's just dead. I think that just kills him. Attempt to murder mode you. Okay. <laughs> murder mode successful. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Alright, value. Um, does this thing kill a lot of his stuff? Kills Icefall Regent... Kills Snapcaster, kills Thing in the Ice. Yeah. Doesn't kill Wake Thrasher. Doesn't kill the uh, Coral Helm Commander. So, there are definitely creatures it, it whiffs against. I think it's probably still an include. What's it better then? Frexing Revoker doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. I mean, it hits Coral Helm Commander, and that's about it. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. I think that's just the single swap up then. Yep. Probably doesn't have to adjust our mana much either. So. Yeah, I think the mana's fine. Okay. So, as indicated, Treachery, completely dumb. Treachery OP. This hand seems fine because of Wall of Omens and the Scry. Yeah. It's a good one. Oh, hi, uh -oh. Delver. How's it going, buddy? He felt like a Delver deck to me. I'm going to keep this on top, even though it's colorless. Sure. I just want to make certain we hit a land. Yeah, land for Foff. Land for Spellcaller. Well, yeah, it's land for Spellcaller, Council Judgment, Foff, etc. Like, that land enables all three of these cards... Obviously hits. On miscalculation, which is potentially dangerous. Oh. We'll see we'll have to see how he uses the miscalculation, but it is potentially dangerous. Does not miscalculate that, which is kinda weird. Interesting. So he is just basically blue black delver. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Because clearly he missed out on some of the better blue-black cards, based on what we have. We didn't even well, see a black card out of him last game. It just means he's lower on curve, from what we've seen. Right. Well, we know that he has Git Probe, Ponder, Impulse, etc. Yeah. So, I mean, we already knew his curve is relatively low. We just didn't know what he was doing exactly. Oh, all right. Jigs okay. Up. Knows about the spell pierce, man. Feels bad. End of the game. <laughs> but if he doesn't leave up like miscalculation, I I can just. Well, yeah. If he doesn't, if he taps out this turn, then I just counsels judgment the friggin' insect on aberration because screw that thing. <laughs> yeah, and if he doesn't, we can just spell horror to block. He must calculate. Then, then we do can. it on our turn. Yeah, so we're fine. We get to get rid of it either way, and I have no problems with that. But th it is good to know that he has at least like four counter spells in his deck. So yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 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 So he is going to have that miscalculation up, which is fine. Let's play the stronghold since he already saw that. Right, not don't show him what we drew yet. Yeah, that's fine, because he'll just counter this spell caller. Right, and then that'll leave us with an opening for next turn. Not bad. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's possibly still fine if we draw a blue source. 
yeah, he... So he did have it. Uh, called that last game. Yeah, good call on your part. That is not a blue source. I guess we just get it countered. Yeah. Because we do have to play our way to kill this when we get a chance, so... He might not even counter this. Seems dangerous. Okay. To not counter that. Because that Gideon can still take over the field really quickly. So yeah, we just need a white source or a blue source, basically, to be on the extra safe side with Spell Pierce. Yeah. But... Meh. So we'll be at 8, which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. We're still fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to 6. Ooh. I don't like it, but I'm doing it. Because we need to get rid of that stupid insect. Hmm. Obvious negate, I guess. Hmm. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go next turn. That's the hope. I mean, we just got to go with what we can hope for. <laughs> I mean, I was playing around his forbid that we had seen last game. I had forgotten about the negate as well. I guess I should have remembered that as another option that he could have easily drawn. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Just a bit. Sure. Well, we could, in theory, hit land Doomblade. Well, he's not going to split them. But he doesn't know he didn't draw land, I guess. Right. So. Yeah. Ooh. Darn it. Whoops. Journey to nowhere. Yeah, oh, boy. So, Delver just did 21 damage. Uh, it did 18 plus the th two we did to ourselves with, uh, all Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take <laughs> all that for the value. And, then and scoop. <laughs> Well played, sir. Well played. You you played a Delver and immediately flipped it without any work. Very well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's well, we... just about how it goes. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, there's nothing else you can do sometimes. That's why Delver is Delver. <laughs> <laughs> Sorn should be very good if it ever happens. Yeah, I mean, it should be, but... I mean, sometimes you just get Delvered. That's all there is to it. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. You just sometimes get Delvered. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had how many answers to Delver? Like six? Yep, they all got countered. This hand is fine. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. Um, I think I brainstorm on his turn, though. Because we're, well, I could get countered if I do that, though. Do I just brainstorm here? Or do mm. I just hold it for a while? We can hold it for one more turn. Yeah. So what do we have on two that's special? Well, we have Wall of Women's on two, yeah. which could be... I mean, alright, well. Brainstorm helps to confuse some of the knowledge off of the probe. Yeah. So... Interesting that he didn't pay life for the probe this time, so he doesn't have a one drop in hand. No Delver is good. Could run it off. Or Did you naturally <laughs> draw a wall. How sick is that? That is the sickest. <laughs> the natural wall. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Kaido? Did I call it? Question mark? Kind of. Hmm. I think I'm going to play this. Actually, I think I brainstorm here. Why not just... Because Are I... you scared of miscalculation? What? Are you scared of miscalculation? We could just run out Geist and win the game. Okay, we'll try it. If he doesn't have it, like... You could have Force Spike or Miscal... 
Oh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this. I, mean, I guess he does have this. Well, that's he... fine. But. I mean, he has to keep up two mana and wasteland himself if he wants to do that. Right. Because if he plays like Wake Thrasher, we just cancel his judgment it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Good call. Just make him have it, basically. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna go bye bye. <laughs> yeah, this is absurd. So. It doesn't even let you choose what it's uh, at that point. I guess I keep this. Probably not, actually. Hmm. Does this actually do anything for us? I mean, it's a good backup plan. It is a good backup plan. Yeah, it's fine to keep, I guess. Just okay. in case things go shitty. <laughs> they very well could, and we know he has a million counter spells, so... Right. So. Yeah, it's Kind of like the ultimate backup plan. I like it. Geist to St. Traft is a four-turn clock, which is nice. So. I think I will brainstorm Kill. here. So that way I can duress. Yeah, definitely. Or not duress. That's fine. Um, I'm going to put back both of these, I guess, for right now. Yeah. Not doing anything. Well, uh, I guess I suicide. Geist's yeah. Draft because that thing could just get out of hand. Especially with his deck. Oh. He likes to keep it. Interesting. Because now I get to flash in a spell queller. <laughs> this is interesting. So now attacking seems poor. Yeah. Well, get in there again. Well, <laughs> attacking seems poor. Oh, you s I thought you said no attacking seems poor. No. <laughs> I mean, he's going to wasteland himself, I guess. So, you know, that's a thing. Sure. I'm fine with him wastelanding himself there, actually. Yeah, it's not the worst. Because I get to flash in Spell Queller, and then that thing basically just murders him. Like, if he goes... He if he went Impulse and I went Spell Queller, that would have been insane. So. Unfortunately, we know we're just drawing dead this next turn, so. Yeah. So, we know he's, at this point he's sitting with counter spells in hand, just waiting. Yeah, his hand's probably into counter spells. Isolated Chapel's absurd. Well, let's start with a the duress then, shall we? It's kind of like the, do you really want to counter this? Yes, because otherwise you lose your best counter spell. <laughs> now, I guess I spell queller this. Or do I wait one turn before the spell queller portion? He knows we have spell queller, right? He does not. Does no. not. Hmm. His for bit up. Yeah. I guess we wait one turn and do the thought sees then spell queller. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, because. This gets around forbid plus miscalculation, and right. I think that should be about it. Yeah, that should do a pretty decent job. Sure. I could also just wrath too. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do the thought sees here. Yeah. Let him play. He forbids. He forbids. We spell queller. Oh, dissipate. Same thing. Same, same thing, yeah. So spell Queller. Still get our Thoughtseize to go off and hit him. So we know his deck has like eight counter spells then. By yeah. Just extrapolation at this point. We've seen six, I think. 
So he's what is this? He's just sure. getting an extra guy off of it, I guess. That's fine. Which is unfortunate, but life. It's not like they do much. That is a hand. Um. Oh, wow. I guess I take the Mole Drifter. Because if he plays the Icefall region to freeze down our guy, then I just Wrath. Yeah. Yeah, so pull the Mole Drifter. So he has Coral Helm Commander, Icefall region. We're going to be taking possibly nine? Possibly nine. Nope. Not taking nine. Now, if he's super greedy, he might just not play that. I don't know. Okay, so he drew land. He's going to play the Icefall region. And then we're just going to Wrath Nick, and then play... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that that was quite greedy with him, especially with Westfall. Like, he could have just made the 9-13. He, he he, yeah, he could have, but he opted not to, so... Murder all your shit. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, hey, nice dissipate. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And his hand is what? His hand is Coral Helm Commander. Okay. You know, treachery target. <laughs> yeah, that gets stolen. Especially if he takes the time to level it up for us. Oh, just once? Fine. And his counter spell still? Maybe. I guess he could have drawn Forbid, but then he would have flipped. No. I mean, we still just try it. Yeah, let's go for it. If it goes off, it goes off. If it doesn't go off, then we deal with it next turn. He drew Forbid. All right. That's unfortunate, but life. That's pretty sick. I mean, we know we've exhausted a lot of his counter magic so far. He's going to level this up to being a four power. Okay. Weird. Well, I'm going to play a batter skull. Okay. Because, like, if you have another counter spell, I'm going to be very impressed. <laughs> this turn doesn't really make sense. You must have. Oh. Okay. Interesting. His draws are very good. <laughs> so far, yes, I agree. They are quite impressive. <laughs> well, I suppose that dies straight up to this, so... Yeah. However, if he has something to kill Batterskull, we just lose. True. True. If he had the sickest rips again, we could just be dead. Turns out we might just win, though. I don't have double black. That is awkward. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess I swing with this here batter skull. He has to black with Teferi. Or flash in a creature to black if he drew a creature, I suppose. You can make a guy. He could double block. At which point, that's fine. I play Soren and make a guy and can actually equip the said guy. <laughs> that's fine. He's left with a 1-1. One, one. So. Soren, make a bro. Make a bigger bro. That's a big bro. <laughs> All right. Don't have any sicko rips. I mean, right now he's going to level this up to have flying at the bare minimum to stay alive. Bare minimum. It that is. It already has flying. Oh, correct. Yeah, fine. Then he doesn't have to level it up anymore. So... Bare minimum, he doesn't have to do anything. Hopefully, though, he does something and we can answer it. Or we just win, I guess. He snap Snapcaster. What does that even do? 
a taxing probe? Sure. Sure, yeah, all right. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you can see my guilt leaf winnower. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> you paid three mana to draw a card. How's it going? <laughs> Could be scary. He's okay. doing the math. The game has ended. What? He wasn't dead yet. I don't know, man. I mean, when, if we got to Karn, he was just straight dead. But whatever. Yeah, so the key play of that game was he got greedy with his ice fall. What he should have done is just flipped his land. and. Yeah, he should have. If he had flipped his land, then we had to chump block. Yeah. And then we can't actually kill it with Supreme Verdict either. So. Yeah. Luckily, our opponent got greedy. So, you know, things happen. Sometimes if the chips fall in your favor. Sometimes they Yay. don't. In this case, they did. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all.